I was involved in Stream Team for, for quite a while, and one of the f first work parties I know about, they had Stream Team, Capital Land Trust, Nature Conservancy come up out here and do a lot of planting and a lot of garbage pickup. And then there was a sign up that said, do you want to be um, involved in People for Puget Sound? And I was a member of People for Puget Sound, and I said, well, that sounds good, I can do that. And so that's how I got involved in this site, and I stayed with it. And then several years, well, I guess that spring they had a stewardship treaty. And so ever since then, I have been involved in monitoring the, pro the site, volunteer um, organizations. Have you done some of the cleanup? Um, uh, basically, not too much of the junk except for the first time. At first they didn't want us to touch anything, they just wanted us to look. And then over time it was like, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> you know, because you'd be going, ooh, gosh, all this stuff. But we were just supposed to monitor how it changed. Mm -hmm. And there were uh, other people who were involved in that too for Capital Land Trust. And then over time they stopped doing it and I said, oh, well, I guess, um, they said, well, you be the site steward. And I said, I guess so, because I've been here the longest. Great. So that's how I got involved in doing that. And then before Dan came, I would actually, with um, Kathleen, organize um, work parties to come out uh, once, or, once a month or something like that. But I haven't done that in quite a while. And, the, and Joy came out and helped me on one of them after. We took a class for Master Habitat restoration through um, Erica Gutman and then that's how I met Joy and I said Joy would you like to come help <laughs> and so Joy started coming here great and I've been coming here and when I can I come here and I pull weeds and I learn about the vegetation so the knowledge that I learn here I can take it away and apply it to my own property so it's not only benefiting here, but it's also benefiting other, other places. Do you have a salt marsh in your backyard? <laughs> no, but I do have a lot of native plants. And so if I learn to preserve them here, then I want to preserve them in my own neighborhood. Um, but I also noticed when I came out Wednesday, how many people came out and enjoyed working and learning too. So it's, it benefits us not only do we get to come out here and look at this, but the knowledge that we learn and hopefully they take that information home too and, and apply it to their own neighborhoods. Yeah. So it's, it's That's fun. great. Thank you guys. <laughs> okay, with that question, well first I started out with um, Stream Team and Native Plant Salvage Project. So obviously plants, and having the ability to volunteer is very important to me. So all of the groups that I've been involved in are kind of interrelated. And I appreciate the fact that the government organizes it so I can volunteer because this is the kind of volunteering I like to do. I've done other stuff, but I enjoy this the most and I like plants and, and being outside. So this is very important to me and I get to learn like Joy, I can tell other people about everything I've learned. And how important do you think it is for the health of Puget Sound and kind of restoring it? And I think it's very important and to people come out here and see what it looks like. And so otherwise, I don't think people understand that this could disappear if we weren't doing this kind of thing. And as far as I'm concerned, this area right here is one of the most beautiful parts of the state. Great. And I'm glad it will always be this way. But I grew up in Olympia, so that's why. <laughs> <laughs> biased. Yeah, that's great. I, I've also, like Nikki, I started off with a stream team looking for bugs in the water and stuff. So I have progressed and I'm still doing, uh, working with, with the different organizations. I'm glad that the government has allowed us and has given us this opportunity. It's really wonderful that people will be able to come here with their children and see this without a bunch of buildings around and the children will learn and because we've had um, instances where uh, high schoolers come here and work okay so they build a respect for the property and because they respect
expect it and be here for a lot longer. That's great. Thank